All right, welcome back, guys. This is Benji Gonzalez and Samuel Barrett. So today we're gonna do a review of the 70 to 28 Tamron lens. 17. Oh, to go 20. ahead. Okay, I, I don't know. 70 to 200. Keep it. I know. Today we're gonna do a review of the Tamron 17 to 28 f 2.8 lens that they just released in this quarter and we're super excited because this is the lens that every sony user have been waiting for uh, well besides the 70 to 200 we're waiting yeah. for either sigma or tamron to tamron. come out come out with a 70 to 200 but this 17 to 28 makes two parts of the holy trinity of uh zoom lenses that every photographer should have yes and this 17 to 28 is awesome yeah now, i love this lens we're gonna get a little technical we're gonna go and shoot a f 2.8 f4 f 5.6 and f8 to show distortion show um how clear it is on the edges and kind of judge the lens for what it is for its flaws for its wins you know and we're super excited i do regret that is only up to 28. I did wish it was up to 35, but here we're gonna show you um, the attributes and the flaws and how it stacks up. That's it, yeah. let's go, let's go shoot. Let's do it. All right. All right, we're gonna shoot this now at 2.8. Everything is leveled, the camera's leveled. I want you to see the staircase as it bows, right? Um, so, so you can see how the distortion is on the lens. And then we're gonna zoom in in post. Okay. All right, perfect. So here we have um, the 17 millimeter file and uh, we have the F2.8 on the left, comparing it to the F4. And as you can tell, there is some vignetting, very, very light vignetting on the 2.8 on the far side of um, 17 millimeters. But that kind of vignetting is very, very much doable. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, you just got to throw a non vignetter on it <laughs> and yeah. then it'll fix it. It'll turn in just like the 4.0 looks like, you know? Right, exactly. So you can brighten up that vignette. Um, yeah. um, um, but the corners are very much sharp, even at 2.8. This is a one-to-one, -one, so this is the full resolution. Um, when you look at, I'm going to go, because I know we got some pixel peepers here. We're going to go two-to-one, and you can see the detail on the end of this uh, brick here. Just as clear on 2.8 as it is on the F4. Uh, and all the way up to the grass blades. Obviously, we were focusing on the church. So this foreground is going to be a little bit um, out of focus element. Um, but again, you could see the detail even to the far end. You can see all the detail in the cement. Um, you won't be able to tell. The only thing you can really tell if you go back to the buildings on this side. Oh, my God. We just caught this guy looking at us. <laughs> oh, wow. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like right back there, you could probably tear on the four. Yeah. A little more detail, but it's not like crazy like that sign right there you could probably tell a little more on this side but yeah, it's this, nothing this sign yeah even on on the left compared to the f4 uh yeah but we're pixel peeping right now this is two to one really what people are going to see is uh, a one to one and that's if they even get that chance right now let's that's vignetting we do have distortion as you can tell the stairs here they kind of bow a little bit down mm -hmm. they they have a little bow um obviously we were shooting from low to high so you know um naturally you know everything is going to kind of uh, bend inwards so these church towers are going to bend inwards but i really wanted to show you um we weren't shooting too far low um but we were really focusing on the stairs and to show you just how much um of a distortion it does cause um, now, as far as chromatic aberration, um, if you go up here, there's barely any when you look at the, the black going against the white sky. Um, it's really, really good. Um, I mean, this lens is super sharp, even on the widest um, at f2.8. Okay. So let's compare this one to the f5.6. Obviously, there's at, at this point, there's pretty much no more vignetting. Uh, so if we zoom in at one-to-one, uh, one um, 
there is a considerable amount of sharpness uh, definitely in the middle you if you're pixel peeping you'll see that it is much sharper in the middle when you see uh, right here in this circular design of the church uh, is much sharper but you will not notice these bricks right here there's um, a lot more detail but again it, this is like if you're pixel peeping yeah it makes you want to think do I need to shoot anything above 2.8 right <laughs> yeah because it looks so sharp it absolutely does I mean again you can see the micro contrast on the bricks here a little bit better like if you look at this brick right here um, compared to this brick right here you could see more detail on mm -hmm. on on the right side mm -hmm. which is at 5.6 but I mean it's it's so minimal you, you can't you you can't even discard it when you look at the tree you obviously see a little bit more detail on the tree here it looks just a little bit more blurred out but again you're talking about so minimal um so minimal that is not going to discourage me from trying to shoot for 2.8 yep um uh and obviously if we are to go to f8 same thing um i mean there's pretty much uh no more difference uh at the f8 than the 5.6 as far as sharpness goes, um, they're both sharp in the center. Uh, they're both sharp on the edges, even along the railing here. So you can guarantee that, you know, all the way from 2.8, there is some vignetting, there's some distortion, yeah. but um, it definitely is um, a step up. So now let's move over to um, the far end of the lens, 28 millimeters right we have the f2.8 here on the left and f4 right now oh sorry um obviously we couldn't get the whole church in frame unless we move back but i did want to um show the characteristics of the of the um, of the church now over here on the far end at 28 millimeters at f2.8 there's no vignetting um here the skies are a little bit darker but it was because of the clouds moving um uh, I did do the test before, and it, again, no vignetting here uh, in the skies. And down here, it's super sharp. Uh, I am super surprised that, you know, how sharp this lens is, even at 2.8. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, it looks it looks pretty awesome to me, man. If I'm you surprised looking at this, and I was there with you <laughs> taking yeah. pictures, yeah. 2.8 versus 4.0, I mean... There's not much difference. No. You're looking at these bricks here. You're looking at the building over here. Uh, you know, there's absolutely distortion. But And the building over here is going to get darker, but that's because a cloud was passing by. Um, right here, um, again, detail. Uh, this is the 5.6. Um, and all the way up to, right, F8. These bricks down here show no signs of difference right in detail this is remarkable remarkable um right here as well you know the contrast is is pretty much minimal it's super sharp super absolutely super sharp on all edges um which is usually what we're looking for in a lens uh how sharp it is we're looking at chromatic aberration and we're looking at distortion now there is distortion um here in this shot but um I was focusing mostly on the stairs, on the stair end um, of the shot, not trying to get the whole church, but, um, and there is a kind of like a, a distortion on the bottom um, as it bows in, but very easily correctable in Lightroom. All right, perfect. So we got our shots. I want you to look at all the attributes this lens has. It's obviously amazing. It does have distortion and it does have a little bit of vignetting. But these are things that you can correct and post, um, you know, in, in, in a big batch of photos. And I want to see how Sam takes advantage of this lens and, you know, shoots Ariana in the middle of it, getting this grand entrance of this beautiful church. So, Sam, it's your turn. Why don't you take a test shot with me? Okay, no. Just, no, we're good. <laughs> I don't want my camera to break. Así vas a hacer conmigo. Me gusta tratarte mal, porque te lo mereces. All right, let's go one more time. You're looking great, looking great, girl. One, two, three. Three. Love it, let me take a look at that one. 
That's nice. Oh, that looks so dope. A couple more. One, two, three. One more. One, two. Oh, that'll make it straight. Three. Zoom in. Oh, dude. Check what that. the? It's looking great though. I'm just trying to get it perfect. All right, one, two, three. So yeah, that was a mini shoot with Ariana. You know, to just display what you can do with this wide angle lens yeah. and this beautiful church. Yeah, it looked great. This is this is a, a great like example on why you would need this lens. Like with uh, any other focal length, maybe a 28 if you back up enough, but sometimes you don't have the luxury to have enough space to back up and do that so this lens is like perfect for shot like this so i'm in love with these shots man they look great yeah they look great the quality looks amazing we yeah. zoomed in and it looks amazing yeah, but it you're gonna judge for yourself yeah you're gonna see these pictures um but yes amazing amazing lens this lens is perfect for when you're like in a party scene and let's say you have the birthday girl in the middle and you want to capture everybody around them looking at her and reactions you could get right in the action and um, yeah, like these examples that you're seeing right now, these are actually with the 17 to 28. And if I had like a 28 to 75, there's no way I could get these shots. Well, if, you, if you're a, photo a professional photographer, you've already probably already had a 16 to 35 equivalent yeah. type lens and you already know how valuable that lens is. So yeah. it's, it's, this is no, no different other than, again, that short of the shortage of yeah, seven millimeters, it yeah. does make a difference. Going yeah, it from does. that 28 to 35, you know, but then again, we saw that same difference when we when the Tamron came out and it was 28 instead of 24. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we were like, ah, if it had that, you know, extra, four extra millimeters. It does it, come it, in it handy. Makes, it makes hand, it comes in handy. Yeah. But um, let's say you're trying to get the the more uh, value Trinity, uh, the lens Trinity. Yeah. You could go to 17, 28, and then a 28 to 75 yeah. Tamron, and if you're gonna have two bodies, you know, have one on each side. Robocop. Yeah, man, <laughs> you got both, you know, focal lens, yeah. uh, lens, and I think that works. Yeah. But this lens is amazing. If you're a landscape photographer, absolutely. It's very yeah. sharp, you know, uh, this is- Great lens overall. This is absolutely a great lens, and you know, great value at 899, and you, you can't beat it compared to the uh, Sony G Master lens. Um, price-wise. Uh, yeah, yeah. price-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Yeah, they have a little bump but this is in definitely build quality, a great, yeah. You know, when we look at the build quality in this one, it is strong plastic, but just yeah. like the Tamron 28 to 75, you don't have that feeling like it's cheap. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's not metal, but it doesn't feel cheap. And it's light. And it's light. It's that, light. That's a, that's, Abs that's especially a if you're doing gimbal work, that, that 17 to 35 comes in handy. If you're doing oh, video. and when you zoom in, it zooms in internally. Yeah. So you don't have that extra inch that comes out and then it, it throws your gimbal off so that's a, another advantage this this lens has absolutely and everybody loves that and every yeah. focal like i love that when the 70 to 200 zooms internally yeah and it does you know you're not expecting like four more inches, four more inches of, yeah you know poke somebody's wait, really? eye out <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah great lens um hope you enjoyed this review if you did comment down below what you think about the lens um what you're expecting from tamron or sigma for the sony um e-mount cameras and subscribe. If That's you it. like this content, we invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss a thing when new videos come out weekly. We thank you for supporting and we love you family. So yep. until next time, we'll see you guys. Yeah. Uh, that hey. one was better.